Hey, so I'm getting ready. Uh oh, there's my timer. Okay, Google, cancel. Okay, so I'm getting ready to head out. I've got to go mail art to San Francisco. No, Sacramento. Sacramento, not San Francisco. And yesterday I mailed art to the UK. So it's a good week. Um, funny story. Last night, I go to bed. I go to bed at 9.30 because I want to watch Green Acres. And then I play with my iPad and then I get really sleepy and I go to sleep. And so um, when I wake up, I think I've been asleep for a really long time, but it's really probably not that late for most people. And it was going on like midnight when the dog woke me up barking. And I, of course, get up because, of, you know, my creeper situation. So um, Molly is on the bed next to me and she's looking out the bedroom window and Benny is at the front door barking. So I look out where Molly's looking, and she's looking out into the driveway area, which is out there, and seeing something. And I don't see anything. And then I thought, oh, the interior light's on in the car. And I, I didn't lock my car because yesterday it was flooding, and I had to go in and out, in and out, doing stuff all day and in the flood rain, and I didn't want to have to keep you know, fighting my stupid lot because the key bobber thing, it doesn't unlock my doors all the time. It, it Sometimes it's like a lottery. It works and then it doesn't. And so I didn't want to mess with that. So my doors weren't locked and I thought somebody was in my car. So I told Sky, I woke him up and I said, somebody's in my car. And, you know, because Wayne's still in the hospital. They don't know what's wrong with him. It's not COVID. It's not viral. It's going to have to be some kind of bacterial infection. And, you know, it's a transplant. He's susceptible to everything. He's not supposed to have his hands in seawater or lake water, let alone be fishing without gloves. And he's done all kinds of stuff. And he's messing with stuff that he shouldn't all the time. So they got to figure this out. But it's not COVID. So that's great. And it's not the flu. So anyway, um, I grabbed my keys off the key ring thinking somebody's in my car and I hit the um the remote the auto ignition whatever it's called I made the car crank from inside the house it cranked up and it locked the doors <laughs> which I think is hilarious because if somebody is in your car rifling through your stuff and you lock them in and turn the car on that's got to freak them out a little bit I just love that I think that is so funny but nobody came bursting out of the car or trying to get out of the car. So I, I guess they were not in my car. And then when I went back and looked, I was like, well, that couldn't have been my car anyway. That had to be um, the Kia, the other car. So I need to go out there and check all the way through it and make sure it's okay. But um, nobody's driven the Kia in a long time. I think the last time the Kia was driven was this guy drove it to church last Sunday. And that was the last time the car's been moved. But um so, yeah, that was pretty funny when I cranked the car and, you yeah, know, knock on me in. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care. I'm going to start calling my car Christine now. So, anyway, I've been outside taking pictures of this beautiful piece, which I love her. I love this. I love this. I love this. So, I know you've seen it before. I just, just love it. So I'm going to list that after tonight. I'm going to, um, I want to get some black light on it because the other night I'm going to have my black light on her eyes. Oh my gosh. You should have seen it. They were glowing so beautifully. It was awesome. And a lot of this paint is just like light activated. And after it's been activated, you don't even need a black light. It just glows. It's really beautiful. So I want to get some pictures of that. Hopefully I can get good pictures of that. And then I'll list this one that's hanging over here. Also, I could paint these things every day of my life and be happy. I love this. And uh, I'm going to have to get the lint roller on this one because this is what I want to work on. But I've got these two. <laughs> Did you see that? It's funny. That's Moon Pie and Cosmo. They're best friends for real. They're having a moment. 
she's like, boy, I told you, leave me alone. <laughs> I just about have enough. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, y'all be nice. They're not really hurting each other. When they were kittens, all they did was hang out together. They would share food. They, they slept together. They played together. The other kittens in the litter, you know, they all did their own thing. But these two stayed together. And Cosmo, he was actually dying when I found him. He was tangled up in the um, volleyball net that was stored under the house. And we didn't know that there were kittens there. And I went outside to take some pictures of art. And something just told me, go look. And I went and I looked. And there was little Cosmo. And he was so little. And he was strangling. And I started screaming and hollering and banging on that window right there for Wayne. And he comes running outside and grabs his knife out of his pocket. And cuts the volleyball net to pieces. And we saved him. And he came inside. And then I went back out. And I came back in with four more kittens. And they've all been adopted. And these are mine. So... I run a wayward home for cats, or a home for wayward cats. A lot of these outside now, though, I cannot, I can't touch them. They won't let me touch them. I can't get them. So, that's sad. So, anyways, you don't need to watch him clean himself. Um, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to the post office, and I got to get gas, and I got to run to the Walmart with a very short list. A very, very short list. So I hope you have a good day. And um, I'll meet you back here again soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you. Bye.